Hey YouTube, uh, XBMC Nut back here again. Two videos in the same day. We, you know, we're getting lucky. Um, I've been working on this the last couple of days. This is a um, an H801 uh, LED Wi-Fi controller that you can pick up on AliExpress for about nine US dollars, and it uses an ESP8266, so you can flash it with firmware from uh, ESP Easy. Um, although you need to actually compile the software yourself with ESP Easy and add in a plugin P105, which I haven't managed to do yet, uh, you can also uh, flash uh, TAS motor, um, and I'll put the links in the description below for those builds. And the one that I flashed is Esperna um, ESPU uh, NA, and you have to jump through hoops a little bit to flash that one actually you don't um, they've got a bin file you can just flash really really easily anyway long story short um, once you have the alternate firmware loaded you can control the H801 using MQTT which is what I'm doing so I've got a broker running on a Raspberry Pi with um, a home assistant on it and I'm just going to turn the light out that's over the top there so you can see the color a little better and um, what I've done is the H801 is um, uh, publishing to my broker and I'm running HA bridge which is a piece of software uh, I'll also put a link back through to a um, a uh, blog post that I did that shows you how to install HA Bridge and that's an interface between Alexa, Google Home well, family wants me to light the fire so um, better keep it short anyway HA Bridge um, best piece of software I've come across in a long long time and that's running on a Raspberry Pi, Pi and it's an interface to my Vera my Harmony Remote uh, Home Assistant uh, Alexa and Google Home so you've got all of that in there so what I've done is in HA Bridge I have uh, some MQTT commands and I can control these LED lights with Google Home hopefully for the video so let's give it a try okay Google Island Red okay turning the Island Red on well that was work that worked that's great okay Google Island Blue. Okay, turning the Island Blue on. Okay, Google. Island Green. Okay, turning the Island Green on. Okay, Google. Island Turquoise. Okay, turning the Island Turquoise on. There you go. Now, how I've achieved that in uh, Google Home is that uh, they've added a feature recently called shortcuts which is the best thing that's ever happened to google home and what you can do in shortcuts is the command to actually change the color of these lights um, in ha bridge you've basically only got on off and dim so i would normally have to say okay google turn on island red Sure, turning the island red on. So, but that's a bit of a mouthful and it's not very uh, wife and child friendly. Um, so the shortcut setting in Google Home allows you to assign a voice shortcut to a command. So I can just say island, uh, island purple. Okay, Google, island purple. Okay, turning the island purple on. And it actually does the actual full HA bridge command, which is awesome. So um, I'm going to do another uh, video and show you how to compile, basically how to flash the Asperna software onto an HO1, just a quick one to do that, because you can do it quite easily. And then another one showing you how to get your head around platform IO or platform EO, however you want to say it. Uh, to show you how to uh, compile and upload uh, ESP Easy, Esperna and Tasmota. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you bye.